Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're working on a 2001, it's a Nissan Maxima, and the customer complaint is they come in and there's a squeaking noise in the front of the car. As they drive, the squeaking noise gets louder. So I'm going to bring you up front, I'm going to show you what that problem is, and then we're going to go ahead and replace the brakes, um, the uh, brake pads, and we're going to also change the hardware kit because there's a piece I can see that's broken on the hardware kit that actually pulls the brake pads away from the rotor. So uh, let me bring you up front. I'm going to show you what to do step by step. And uh, we'll wrap this job up, get out the door, and we'll have another perfect job. So let me bring you up front and show you what to do. Okay, this is the problem that we have. You can see that the, uh, the brake pads themselves are worn down where there's really nothing left on them. I'll show you that a little closer when I take it out, but there's nothing left on it. But this piece right here is the piece I'm telling you about. This piece here is supposed to be connected underneath there. There's a piece missing off the end of this. It's supposed to be underneath the brake pad itself. And it's a pull, pull the brake pad back off the rotor so you don't have that constant drag on it and causing the brake pads to wear down prematurely. So we are going to change the brake hardware. We're going to change the brake pads. And we also are going to change the rotor. And the reason we're going to change the rotor is because there's a significant amount of rust in the back of the rotor over here. And, um, all right, so let me grab some tools. We're going to get a wrench, a ratchet first. We're going to take this bolt out here. It's probably a 14 millimeter here as well as down over here. We're going to also take out this bolt down inside here. That's probably a, um, a 17 or maybe an 18 millimeter nut that's down inside there. We're going to take out this one right here, right there. And then there's all on the, another one down on the bottom, down underneath here right here that we're going to remove also and then we're going to take the mounting bracket off the car and we're going to remove the rotor. If the rotor comes off easily, fine. If it doesn't, then we screw a bolt right into this hole here and we pop the rotor right off the car. But it looks like it should come off without any kind of an issue. Alright, so uh, let's grab some tools and um, we're going to get started on it. One thing I want to point out first before we do anything, we're going to go in here with a pry bar or a screwdriver and we're going to push that piston right there back all the way back into its bore and we're going to check to make sure that these slide pins right here are sliding the way they're supposed to. So uh, let's get set up and, uh, and we'll come right back. Okay, this is an example of the, what, you, what tools you're going to need. One, you're going to need a new rotor, you're going to need new brake pads, a ratchet and a couple of sockets, and your pry bar or screwdriver in which to push that, push that piston back in. This is the hardware kit that I was telling you about and as you can see this is the piece that's broken off there. You see this goes on just like this here and these little this little tab right here is what's broken off on this one here. So you have it on the outer and you also have the same thing on the inner too. So uh, all right, let's uh, let's push that piston back in and the way you do that is you come in here with a pry bar and you just go behind the rotor like this and you just keep slight pressure on the uh, brake caliper. And what that does is it slowly pushes the piston back into the bore. And we're going to push it until the piston is recessed all the way back in. Okay, and then after the piston is pushed back in, you have to make sure that your slide pins right here and right here are in good condition. And the way you do that is just take your caliper and you slide it back and forth just to see if it's uh, if it's sliding the way it's supposed to and as you can see both slide pins are working okay so we know that the caliper sliders are not frozen in the uh, in the knuckle right here so uh, all right what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, we're going to take this bolt out here and here and we're going to relocate this caliper off to the side One thing you never want to do after you take the caliper off is you never want to let it hang so you have a piece of wire. You'll have a piece of wire or something to support it up and out of the way. Now don't lose the bolts because you're going to need to reuse these uh, when you put it back together. We just unscrew them and take them off for now. And then we're just going to take the caliper and just secure it up and out of the way for now. Okay. 
the noise that they were getting, that squealing noise was actually the brake pad right down to the indicator, it was touching the indicator. It was right down to the indicator and that's the, squ the squealing that we're getting. Right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take those bolts out, those uh, the bolts in the back of the uh, mount. These are the sliders I was telling you about. You can see how they slide nice and freely. See? And that's the same thing. It slides nice and easy. Uh, we're going to take these pads, and uh, this one here is not touching at the indicator, but we are going to replace this hardware. So let's, uh, we'll come back to this in just a minute. See, there's a lot of rust on here, so we're going to actually file this down. Um, you can use a, uh, a tool like this to clean the rust up, or you can use a, uh, uh, a razor blade or any kind of scrape or whatever you have, but you need to get this rust off of here. So let me clean this off, and uh, once it's cleaned up and out of here, then we'll, we'll come right back. Now that we have everything all cleaned up before we put this back onto the car, the new rotor, you got to clean off the rotor to get all that uh, oily substance that's on there when they, when they actually have it in the warehouse. So we just clean it off a little bit. Same thing on the other side. Put the roller. Just push the rotor on, and I usually screw a nut onto it just to hold it in place like this. It'll make it a little bit easier for you if you just screw a nut onto it. It'll hold the rotor in place while you're working, so that's not going anywhere. These clips, you just take them off like this, just pull them right off. And if you have a lot of rust inside here, you'll clean it off, but there really is no rust on there, so we're not going to worry about it. Make sure you put the correct clips back on. As you'll see, one of them's got these pieces on it here that actually pull the shoe out, and one doesn't. So we make sure we put it back in the correct location where it came from. This goes on here. And you push them all the way down. Make sure it's pushed in all the way right here. And we're down as far as it goes. And I'm going to do the same thing here. We're just going to pull this off. And I'm going to put the new one right back on here. Push them all the way down and lock it in place like this. Now with this particular one, we're going to change these boots on here also because it comes with new boots.
right? It just goes over the top like that. And you just lubricate the pin. And you push it all the way back inside where it went. And you make sure that that little rubber piece pops up on top of the stud over the top right there. Same thing here, just pull this out, take this off, take your new one, put your new one over the top of like this, and it pops in place. Put a little bit of grease on there like that. And then put it back in here like this. Make sure it pushes all the way in. And then everywhere that the brake pad is going to touch, you put grease. And then we're going to take this and we're going to mount it back onto the car right now. And then you catch each bolt and before you tighten them, you make sure you have both of them caught by hand first. Tighten them in as far as you can by hand. And then if you screw them in by hand, then you can tighten both of them tight. take the brake pads and put the brake pads back into the caliper. Now remember you, these pieces here have to be up on the top because they actually, these pieces here hook onto it to pull it back out. So we're going to put this one in the back. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. And this is the one that goes in here. And this faces up to the top like this. And then we just hook this piece underneath there like that. And you can see how it pulls it back out. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing in the back. I'm going to hook it on the back too. They slide back and forth just the way they're supposed to. And we're going to take our caliper. We're going to put our caliper back over the top like this. Push your slide pins in so you can get your caliper bolts back in there. And then we'll catch both of the bolts before you tighten them down all the way. You screw them in by hand. And then once you've got both bolts caught, then you just tighten them both up. Okay. 
Okay, so I just want to go over one more time what I had to do. All right, we made sure we have these new clips in place up on top here. We have our brake slider pin is hooked on this here, so it keeps constant pressure and pulls it away. We have the, uh, the same thing in the back over here. You'll see it's mounted right inside there the way it's supposed to. We tightened up the bolt on the caliper here and here. And we tightened up those 19 millimeter bolts in the back right here. And then down again on the bottom, right down there. And uh, last but not least, we're going to take our nut back off of here. And then we're going to go to the other side and repeat the process on the other side. And, uh, and then before you drive it, you just pump the brake up inside the car. It'll have a nice firm pedal. And uh, you'll be good to go. All right, like always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, you drop me a line. Be more than happy to talk to you about anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.